Hi all and welcome back to the channel here today back with another Thunder Tier 1 video as always <clears throat> sorry for the break that I've had um, had COVID and such and over the Christmas period it's just been a bit slow recovering and whatnot but we are back today and we're gonna get cracking straight back into Operation Sitting Duck as always we're gonna start by watching the briefing after the ledger we recovered from the factory turned out to be a fake We've been twisting in the wind, Thunder One. As luck would have it, we may finally have gotten a new lead. We've been hearing rumours of peculiar activity and around a gas station in the Kovok province. Preliminary aerial reconnaissance and our recon teams have been unable to find anything conclusive. Today, however, a concerned citizen has reported a suspicious abandoned van outside his gas station. I know it is not much to go on, but right now this is all we've got. We need your squad to check out this van and search the AO for anything out of the ordinary. If you find anything suspicious, investigate it and report back. On the off chance that you do encounter some kind of sabre operation, shut it down. The team needs a win, Thunder One. Make sure you bring them one. So, <clears throat> this mission here today looks like we're going to be going in hot and hard into this gas station area. We're going to be inserting via a helicopter, so... We'll have to see what we can do there. We're going to be dropping fairly in the open here. Three buildings in the active area by the looks of it. And a big open plot behind them. So. With that in mind. Let's get gearing up. So. This one is sunset and it is clear. We do not need our night vision here. Because uh, we're going in hot and heavy. We are going to wear some sort of ballistic protection. Um, I'm going to take the MK6 with the cover. Now, we're also going to take the gas mask just in case we use smoke grenades and such. Armor here, we've got class 3 on. We're going to keep that for the moment. As for ammo and such, we are going to stick with the AK for this mission. I'm going to add a lockpick kit just in case. But I am going to remove the suppressor from the AK. Here. If we're going in by a helicopter, we, the, it's going to be loud. There's no way around that. We're going to add another frag grenade into our mix here as well. I'm going to stick with the 1911 also. We're not going to bring a backpack, we're going to stay as mobile as we kind of can for this mission and I don't feel like I need much more gear than what I have here. Now, Junior over here, also with the AK, we're going to leave him with the AK, we're going to remove the suppressor once again here, we're going to give him the gas mask and we are also going to give him the MK6, it's slightly heavier armour and obviously a big backpack on as well. He has metal cutters here. But what we are going to do is we are going to add a demo charge into his mix as well. He stick with the M9. We're going to remove the suppressor. He probably won't get a chance to use it much anyway. But on the off chance he does, there's no need for it. Humpty. Now, Humpty has a lot of ammo. <laughs> probably more than he needs. We're going to swap him out to have another med kit. We're going to remove a med kit from him and a lot of his spare magazines here we're also going to change his ammo type over to the AP ammo here and just add a bunch back in we'll leave him with the PASGT helmet here it's only one ballistic value to it but we're then going to also throw on the where is it Gonna swap him to the MK2 armor and try and keep him a bit more mobile if possible. Gonna move his make kit and we're gonna get rid of his backpack there. So he can carry a little bit more on him. Gonna move just all his magazines into his vest here. So Now, I'm going to remove his suppressor from his 1911. Doesn't need one on his UMP. And I believe that will do for his loadout as well. We're going to swap him to the gas mask, actually, just uh, to be safe. Then on to Avalanche over here. 
avalanche. We will, I guess, try and keep towards the back. Uh, we're also going to give him the MK2 just to be safe. Uh, we'll leave him with a boonie hat. Uh, once again, going to put on the gas mask, though. M14 is pretty powerful. No reason to change that. Should be good. Should be useful. Going to swap out his lockpick kit for a med kit, though, just in case he does get hit. Not going to mess with the camos for now. Not um, in any way major anyway. What we will do is we're just going to do use my camo on Avalanche here. Just so we're a similar look. I know I look a bit disorganized with the green bits on my uh, helmet there. But it is what it is. The other guys stay as is. And now without further ado, let's get into Operation Sitting Duck. So it looks like three hostiles in the gas station, three in the middle building, three in the far right building, and we also have three in the open as well. It looks like the empty lot at the back is empty. Looks like the road and the farmland is all clear also. Let's commence the mission. Humpty to go over and we're going to get Humpty to go through the door there. And then we're going to open the door here. Move. We're going to get Junior to move into that room while I reload. That's good. Just going to get Junior to heal himself quick. I'm going to head back outside. Avalanche. We're just going to get to go take cover. As we move up here. Now, Junior. We're just going to get to uh, come back over here as well. Roger. What we're going to do, we're going to get Humpty to open the store. Is all three down. We've cleared this building as well. Just gonna get uh, Humpty to go. Copy that. Number one approaching suspect. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! shit that is a lot of blood. Now, what we do? Get yeah, Humpty to go there. Trying to set up a defensive position as best we can here. Get to cover. Copy. Whilst we investigate the van. This is number one. Empty chemical containers found. Over. 
Wasn't the cleanest, but we did uh, successfully take that. Search the area, locate their point of origin, and investigate. Zeus out. Wilco, under one out. These guys to heal up. Quick. Gonna go see if any of these had any more AKs, real quick. I should have bought some more ammo, really, but oh well. What we will do, we're just going to ditch our 1911 here. We are going to unload that CZ-75. We are just going to take the spare magazines for it as well. Like such. Done this the slow way as to not bring the spare mag. Though it probably would have been quicker to just move it all and get rid of the spare one. Uh... I believe I'm the only one with a make kit now, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to heal Humpty. That should do. And we're just going to continue to search a few bodies for the moment. More ammo for the pistol. Set of keys here, we'll take them. We are just going to hold down. We're just going to get everyone to regroup. We're going to get everyone to open fire, fire as Roger. well. Is that? Yep, that's a gate. We're all here. Right. We've opened the hatch. And we can now see targets. What I'm assuming is in the tunnel. That is a lot of hostiles. And it's quite dark down here, lovely. So, I'm just going to swap our cameras facing real quick. And take this as slow as possible. Target neutralized. Got him. I will advance you. go around and hope we can run. Junior really needs to move out of the way. I'm just going to change my magazine here real quick. Gonna loop and check round past the generator here real quick. So it looks like the tunnels will loop around the bottom here. Jingle 
magazine real quick here. We're just gonna head over here. So we've got weapon cache here. This guy does have an AKM, however. So we are going to just very quickly take his magazines. We're gonna come in here. We're just gonna hit Q. Take them all real quick. We've got a really empty AP magazine there, so we're just gonna drop that. And then what we're going to do here is we're just going to get the team to move over that way and just get the cover. Copy take cover Copy in that. that general area. Whilst I just very quickly underarm throw that grenade over there. You don't want to use the frag grenade yet, just in case. I have a vision. Enemy down. Target neutralized. Nim, try to already target. Copy. Roger. Leaving cover. Right, luckily those the AI did take them out, that's good. going to continue to move and around through these tunnels. Clear. Concrete walls are going to make this a lot tougher here. Taking cover. What we're going to do is just going to get people to take cover here. Well, for taking, telling them to take cover in the hallway, they really ran the wrong direction there. Indeed. Get out of there. Way. That's unfortunate that we lost two guys right there like that. There's not really anywhere decent we can get him to take cover. Well, that's my entire team down, unfortunately. Wounded here. the weapon cache proceeding to destroy out this mission has unfortunately gone very wrong very quickly looks clear no sign of them
Just utilizing the AKM to its full potential here. Just gonna change quickly. Looks clear. Might have to swap out here to an AK seventy AKS seventy four U. Um, there we go, perfect. Some more ammunition for our AKM. We are actually we're also going to take the magazine from his AK as well. What we're going to do here, we're just going to loop back to our teammates' bodies, and we're going to grab a medkit. Uh, not medkit, a frag grenade. Sorry, from them. So I do not believe they utilized it. As we go, we are just going to check these bodies here. Got some more AK magazines, which is nice. We're going to get rid of a spare CZ magazine. We'll grab two of them. So he has a frag grenade. We're going to get rid of our smoke grenade here. We don't need it. We're going to ditch a CZ magazine as well because our friend here does have two frag grenades. So we're going to take both of them. Sorry, Humpty. It will be missed. Or Junior, whichever one of you that was. M14 if I need it with a ton of ammo. I did not utilize my team very well, unfortunately. And perfect. Right. Gonna get rid of them. Take one more spare normal magazine there. There we go. We are kitted back up with ammo and grenades here. Through what can only be described as the tunnels of doom. My team, unfortunately, are like fish in a barrel for some of these guys and. It's a shame they uh, died. Just gonna underarm throw another grenade there. What we're gonna do? Pause real quick. Just gonna check the UAV. Looks like we've got about four people left. Just in front of us through the tunnels here. Luckily here, we have been able to take the rest of the tunnel. 
just going to hobble our way out of here now. Doing it Shawshank style, going through the uh, sewer. And now look. You can stand and just watch the sunset come in. Whilst we sit exhausted after a long gruesome battle. We made quite a few levels there, which is nice. Performance score is 65%. I I wouldn't even say it's that high once again, unfortunately. The, uh, the tunnels here do be a cruel mistress to navigate. But, when all is said and done, we would unfortunately have to swap out our lonesome soldiers. Now, we're gonna sit back. We're gonna let our guys rest for a little bit before we head into Operation Golden Angel. That one will be next time. But thank you guys who have stopped in and watched this video. I do appreciate it, and I will get back to regular uploads as often as I can for the rest of this campaign. I'm gonna be uploading a new video as well to do with Warno. That is a new game. I will drop a link in a pinned comment down below once I have a Warno video up in relation to that as well. That is a new RTS game as well. But until then operators, thank you for stopping in. I'll see you in the next one.